Hello and welcome back to Select Leisure. This is part three of the Swift Command control panel. On this one, we'll just see what all the other things that we could be uh, could be showing you on this control panel. Power, obviously, is uh, very important to be using when you're using your uh, caravan or motorhome. On the main screen, you'll see what voltage your battery is, is uh, operating at, at the moment. That's going through a charger. That's why it's showing about 14.2. But if you weren't connected to 240 it would give you a realistic battery and uh, obviously what what life you could expect of it no vehicle battery so if you're in a caravan you could connect your car uh, or leave your car even connected to the caravan and that will give you a uh, voltage of your vehicle so the panel obviously that's giving you a good indication of what uh, power we got coming into your battery which is just over 14 volts obviously all depends on um, what the weather is outside, at the moment it's quite sunny out here. Select battery, again as I said if you were uh, or left your car connected to your van you could select the battery by pressing the arrow facing the, uh, facing the screen. And if it obviously hear that squeak then it obviously says uh, no there's no vehicle uh, attached. Tank fill, so for those who have a uh, freshwater tank on their model to fill the tank that's where you're going to need to press the button so you scroll down to see tank fill press on and we see the little icon in the top right hand corner of the screen now that's to say that the tank fill is in operation obviously as long as you've got an acrol or whatever connected outside and the uh, appropriate control valve is in the correct position and it will start filling your tank it will automatically shut off when it gets to full so I'm going to switch that off AC limit, this is very important, obviously a lot of people do use a lot of electrical things inside their vans and think they can use that as they would in a domestic property or house. With the AC limit set, what you can do, uh, or what it will do for you, is um, limit the amount of um, electric you may be getting from the bollard, so it's hopefully preventing the bollard from tripping. So if you're on site, especially winter time, you may have a few electrical things connected, so your toaster, a kettle, a hair dryer. If you operate all them uh, usually all together, obviously you're using a hell of a lot of electric for what your limit is on the on the bollard. So what will normally happen is you'll trip your bollard outside, which you're connected to on site, and then you're going to have to go and ask the uh, warden possibly to come and uh, reset it for you, or unless you're lucky, you'll be able to reset it yourself. What this system will do if you have made put a limit on it, which is a maximum of 16 amp or so if you see the bottom of the screen now I've, I could limit to 5 amp if I wanted to 6 up to 16 or off okay set to 16 now if you see there it's what well, is unlocked a little padlock unlocked unlocked to show you that it, we have got a setting for the AC limit so if you do go above that limit so say you sit, switch the kettle on or switch your hairdryer on instead of tripping the bollard well that's the uh, Hopefully that's what will happen, is it uh, will start shutting down your heating on electric. So it will start, start shutting down a kilowatt at a time. Obviously if you put a two kilowatt kettle on, then it's going to drop it down two kilowatt. You're only going to be running on one kilowatt on your heater if that's what you've set. Um, what it may be a good idea to do is to set it to uh, electric and gas on your heating system. So what will happen is if it does start shutting down the electric side of it, you still have some heating going. For that period of time, even though it's likely to be a short period of time, you're going to have the kettle on or hair dryer on anyway. Okay, the other things you can see there: internal temperature. If I press the arrow button in, it can actually tell you the humidity of internal and external temperature as well. Dimmer level. So on the first section or the first part of this video, we did talk about the dimmer lights, which you can dim. So if I press that button there, if you can see on the bottom line now, it's going up in 5% percentages, up to 100, then it'll drop down to 5, and then you can go up again. So with that, you can dim the lights up or down. Heating settings, which we'll come to shortly. So they'll be back to start.